The first thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor was how easy it would be to branch into different fields and different careers. Being a math tutor is really a nice thing to have in your pocket, to have on your resume, because it's such an interesting job, but it also really demonstrates some things to employers. The fact that not only do you have the ability to do the math, to do that higher level thinking and problem solving, but you also have the ability to communicate that with others. That's a really big deal. Communication is such a big issue. It's such a big asset to employers, to companies. So when I was interviewing for an internship, it was a consulting actuarial internship. So everyone was consultants. And the fact that I was a tutor and could communicate complex ideas to other people who didn't necessarily understand them was a huge selling point. So using tutoring can be a really great stepping stone to many other careers, especially teaching, or maybe you want to be a teaching assistant. Tutoring would be great to have in your pocket for that. You probably have many, many different options after becoming a math tutor. The second thing I wish I knew, and this applies if you're able to get a peer math tutor job, like a math tutor job in college or while you're in high school, this is what I was able to do when I was an undergraduate. That's when I started my math tutoring career journey, whatever you want to call it. Being able to go through college, being a peer math tutor is such a great resume builder, regardless of what job you want to do after school. In my opinion, it looks like a much more professional position. It's just a nice thing to have on your resume that sort of diversifies you and sets you apart from your competition for whatever job you're applying for. Third, I wish I knew how flexible the schedule was that I could have and work with. At least in my experience, every single tutoring position I've had, and I've held a few, have more or less allowed me to pick my own schedule. Now obviously you can't work wild hours and you need to be able to work when students are available so they can come and see you. But as long as you're getting your hours in every week, uh, I was able to just sort of set my own weekly schedule for each semester, depending on whatever else I had going on, whether that was class or maybe other jobs. It's a very flexible position, especially if you get into online tutoring. Now we're talking about a lot of flexibility because you can wake up at whatever time you want and just get on your computer and start tutoring. So the flexibility with being a tutor is a really, really nice perk. The fourth thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor specifically is I wish I knew how much math I was going to forget when I started tutoring. It's funny when you start tutoring the subjects you did really well in in school and you realize how quickly that information fades. It took me a lot of time to be able to scrape up all the pieces of all the math classes I've had in the past and be able to just internalize that and help other people learn it as well. It's a really good idea to consistently be reviewing material that you're tutoring or anything that's been a very long time for you. I know for me it took a while before I, I really uh, was able to absorb everything. Getting into working with students, the fifth thing I wish I knew before becoming a tutor was some students, not all students, are going to have a very high level of expectation for what you're going to do for them as a tutor. I've had students who want little to no help and then I've had students who essentially want me to do all of their homework for them while they sort of watch me do it. It's just something to be aware of that some students will try to use every last drop of resource and energy that you have to make sure they get their own work done. It's nothing against the students. Now this doesn't always happen and after you have a few of these situations you sort of know how to deal with it but I just wish I knew how many students really wanted a lot of hand holding and they wanted a lot more help than a regular tutoring session should be. The sixth thing I wish I knew before becoming math tutor was some students are very very reluctant to see tutoring in fact they almost see it as a sign of weakness I know I sort of felt this myself before I became a tutor I sort of thought going to tutoring was something that students were only really struggling are supposed to do but I found that even when I was doing well in a course, going to tutoring just helped me that much more, helped me solidify things. And I think I wish I knew how many students would be so reluctant 
even when they were a good student and it could benefit them so much. So I like to tell students that tutoring really is for everyone. In fact, I think the best students out there go to tutoring and should get tutoring. Seventh thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor was how different every student is. Every person is different and the way they learn is different. For different students, you're gonna have to take a totally different approach on how you teach them. Some students are much more visual, some students are not. Some students are quick learners and some are not so quick. There's many different ways that students absorb information and the rate at which they absorb it. And so as a tutor, you can sort of get an intuition for this as you start talking with a student and working with a student. You know, you kind of can gauge how fast you should go with things, how much information you should say, that sort of thing. But I didn't realize before I became a tutor just how tough it would be to work with so many different people on so many different levels. The eighth thing I wish I knew before becoming a tutor was how little training there was, at least in my situation. If you're planning on becoming a tutor, there might be a very standardized training program or process for wherever you're looking at. But for me, we did sort of have a training class kind of thing, but it wasn't so much about tutoring and tutorials. Much more of it was on learning habits and personalities and that sort of thing. It was just, Kind of like, hey, you're a tutor now, uh, here's a student, you know the material, right? Well, go tutor them. <laughs> Not to say that there's a whole lot of training that can be done with tutoring. Everyone has their own feel, their own technique and style and so forth. So it's not necessarily something you can train very much of, but I wish I knew that I was essentially going in blind and kind of having to find my own way. The ninth thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor is that students don't always know what they need help with. Students come to tutoring and maybe they don't know what they need help with, they just know they need help. I can't tell you how many times it's happened. A student comes to meet with me for the first time and they say, hi, I'm in college algebra and I need help. And I say, okay, great. What can I help you with? What, what things are you working on that, that you're struggling with? And they say, well, I don't know, sort of just everything. And so that can be a little bit challenging to deal with. Usually if you look at some previous homeworks or maybe a past exam the student has, it gives you a place to work with. You can sort of identify and pick out which things the student is really struggling with. Um, but it's a very common thing that students go to tutoring because they want help, but they don't really know how to help you uh, help them. The 11th thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor is that if you're tutoring for a college or university, the professors whose courses you are tutoring can be very picky. You know, they don't want you doing problems necessarily a different way than they're teaching or they don't always want you using their past exams because maybe they reuse some of their content. Some teachers don't even like you tutoring their classes at all because they just want the students to learn from them and that's it. This isn't something that happens all the time, but it's something to keep in mind if you're working at a college or university that some teachers might want you to do things a very certain way, or they might not want you tutoring their courses at all, depending on what it is. Next, I wish I knew that when you're a tutor, students sort of just see you as this generic help thing, and problems can kind of come from anywhere. I've had students come to me with chemistry problems, physics problems, engineering problems, geology class problems. I don't know anything about those subjects, but the fact that there's any sort of numbers involved or any sort of math involved, students can come and, and I guess I can try to help them. I can't always, sometimes I can, but I never imagined just the vast number of problems students would bring to me. Uh, for help that I probably wouldn't have any idea. It's just something to keep in mind that when you're a tutor, students see you as a resource for more than just exactly what you're hired to do. And also what I wish I knew becoming a math tutor was how rewarding it was going to be and also very fun. It's a very fun job. It's a very different job than many other things out there. You get to work with people, you get to help people, you get to help people make breakthroughs that they couldn't always 
do themselves, you actually get to see students improve and get better grades. And it's a really good feeling to be able to help people with a hard subject. It's very rewarding and I'm very glad that I am and will be able to be a tutor in the future, helping hopefully many, many people. I hope you liked this video. I picked out this video for you to watch if you're interested. I think you'll like it. It's a pretty good one. Thanks for watching till the end and have a great day.